One of the neat things about ASP.NET Core being open source is that if I want to dig into the internals of something like the create default builder method, I can go to GitHub and find the source code for that specific method. So let's say I want to figure out what is create default builder doing? What sort of logging is it configuring by default? Because obviously there's some logging output that is happening. What are the configuration sources that it configures by default? Well, if I come into the ASP.NET slash ASP.NET Core repository, it's not always this easy, but let's search for create default builder and see if we can find a method named create default builder. Well, here is one inside of webhost.cs, which sounds like a pretty promising candidate. And if I scroll down, indeed, I will find the implementation of create default builder that I'm looking for. It's this one down here that is currently starting around line 148. First of all, I can see it's setting up a number of different configuration sources. So one configuration source is the command line. Another configuration source is appsettings.json. And yet another configuration source is appsettings.environmentname.json. So one thing that I need to point out is that the configuration sources in ASP.NET Core are hierarchical. So if my configuration sources are the command line first, and then appsettings.json, and then appsettings.someenvironmentName.json. So this is literally the environment name that I'm operating in. So this would be appsettings.production.json or appsettings.development.json. Then when I go to the configuration service in ASP.NET Core and say, please tell me the configuration value for the setting named message. If that message exists from the command line, ASP.NET Core will use that value. But if that setting also exists in appsettings.json, then the value from appsettings.json will win, and that's the value we'll use. But I can also override that particular setting by adding a setting into appsettings.development.json. And then I also want to point out that another configuration source is environment variables, and that can be extremely useful. If I have a database connection string that has a password inside, I don't necessarily want to put that in appsettings.json and check it into source control. I want to keep that setting outside of source control. That's why ASP.NET Core has user secrets that are available for development. And in production, we would typically place that connection string into an environment variable. So I just want to show you how these different configuration sources can work. Currently, inside of appsettings.json, we have our logging levels, and we also have this message that says, hello from app settings. You might remember that we retrieve this message and we display this message when we show a list of all our restaurants. We show this down here at the bottom of the page, hello from app settings. We do that because inside of the list model, where we just added some logging, we asked the iConfiguration service to give us a configuration value for the key named message. And because this create default builder by default added appsettings.json to the list of configuration sources, we were able to retrieve this message, hello from app settings. But I just want to point out if I take that value and open up a file that is hidden here behind appsettings.json, which is appsettings.development.json, as we just saw in the create default builder source code, this file, any settings that I have in here, will override those settings that are in appsettings.json, but only when I'm in the development environment. So inside of here in development, I can see that the logging level by default is tuned so that I should see more information. So the default level here is debug, and anything coming from the system or Microsoft logging sources will be at the informational level. So again, more details on those different levels in the documentation that I'll link to. But let me also paste in here that I want to change the message from hello from app settings to hello from development. I'm going to save this JSON file. Let's come back to the browser and let me issue a refresh. And down here I can now see the message is hello from development. Essentially the settings in app settings.development.json override those settings that are in app settings.json, but only when I'm in development. Otherwise, appsettings.development.json won't exist as a configuration source because create default builder is going to add appsettings.production.json if I don't have a named operating environment. Notice also there is some logging configured in here by default. And of course, all these settings in the default builder are settings that you can override and change. The default logging 
will be configured using this logging configuration section that will be pulled from one of the JSON files or some configuration source that is already configured. And then we will add the console as a destination for our logging statements. That's how I can see output when I do a .NET run. We'll also add the debugger as a destination for our logging statement so I can see things inside of Visual Studio. And so now we know a little bit more about how Create Default Builder work, how it configures the configuration system itself, and how it configures logging. And we also see a very important characteristic of ASP.NET Core that is taken advantage of in many different scenarios, which is the ability to override different configuration settings by placing settings into different files or different configuration sources. Just for fun, see if you can set message as an environment variable from the command line and then use .NET Run on the application to display that custom message from the environment variable. Remember, launch settings.json can influence what environment you're operating in. When you run using .NET Run, you'll be using the settings that are specified in Ode to Food and you'll be using this ASP.NET Core environment. I'm also going to go back and set the environment back to development for running under IIS Express.